In today's video, we're going to be reviewing Branalyzer. For those of you who are not sure what Branalyzer is, it's basically a brand tracker where you can analyze brands URLs, websites, and track what they're ranking for, their backlinks and stuff like that. So it's really good for tracking your competitors to see what they're doing, and then perhaps use what they're doing as inspiration to help you get your digital assets seen. I'm gonna be taking you through most of the features and giving my thoughts along the way. And I'll also leave a discounted link in the description below that I'll keep updated so you always get the most value for your money. We're going to do our best to go through every single feature. There is quite a lot and I don't want to make this too long of a review. So I'll go through all the USPs. We're gonna start off in the home section and we'll go ahead and grab one of my URLs, tocapps.com, and do be curious. This is now gathering all of the information from social media, the general business information, what sort of traffic it's getting, and keywords, and if it's got any Trustpilot info. It's kind of like a quick summary of that brand. Let's see how accurate it is when it comes to finding the social media stuff. So we're gonna open up each of these tabs really quickly and see if it has actually found the platforms. This is not my Instagram account. This is not my Twitter account. This is not my Facebook account or LinkedIn, but it is my YouTube account. This isn't my GitHub account. So overall, what it seemed to have done is it's tried to find talk apps, but because I'm not on a lot of these platforms, it's replaced it with another brand that's similar to it. The only one it got correct was YouTube, which means it is actually trying to find my brand. It's just it replaced it with something else. Personally, I don't think that's a good way of doing market research, but let's continue because it's only a small feature. So here it's connected with Moz and Majestic, and usually you'd have to pay each of these platforms individually. So if we go to Moz Pro, for example, this is how much you would normally need to pay if you wanted access to Moz, but this gives you direct access. So ultimately you're actually saving some money, which is really good because you don't need to purchase additional account for Moz and Majestic. So that's a nice touch. So this is tracking things like the domain authority, the page authority, how many backlinks and the rank as well. Next, we have the brand history. So this kind of shows a chart which shows you like the domain traffic and keywords and when those have fluctuated, etc. You can export the chart file and also filter the graph. It actually looks a bit better like this. It's also analyzing all the pages and which pages are picking up the best keywords. Filter it to show a hundred results. And then if the website is running any ads or anything on those lines, it will show that data. And you can also do Keywords Hunter. So if you want to analyze any keywords, you'll type it in here, select the location and then do search. It's not found any keywords, probably because my website doesn't target America, but you can also get full data of which will show a more detailed chart of information for you to make accurate decisions on. It will also show a list of all of the websites which currently have backlinks to the domain that you are analyzing. So all of these websites here currently have a backlink to Talk Apps, which is the domain that we're analyzing. You can then go on to things like Affinity, which will show further data like the country and the language and then the websites, domain authority and page authority, etc. And what's a really cool feature is that you can email these websites directly. So if you want to thank them or perhaps do further collaboration with them, or maybe even let them know that they need to update something, you can literally click email and then it will show all of the emails found on that website. That's pretty cool. What's more, is you can even create a leads list and add them to your leads list. So it's kind of acting like an outreach tool as well, which is really nice. Under the brand competitors, based on the content that's on your website, Brandalyzer will do its best to find related niche specific websites, which are kind of meant to be your competitors. Although I don't think it's done a particularly great job because it's kind of telling me that Microsoft, GitHub and Wikipedia are my competitors. Maybe my website's not structured great, which is why it's giving these sort of results. But overall, that's not 
great um, listing for competitors. However, what's cool, you can click the compare button and that will compare that website to your website. It also shows how many ads they're currently running. So there's lots of nice little tweaks lots of nice little touches and also you can add these websites to your favorites and then come back to them at a different point your competitors it will also show the brand's top pages so you can instantly see which of their pages are ranking the best and is there anything that you can do in your own digital asset to utilize or harness those sort of keywords and page structures etc under this section we'll tell you all about kind of like the domain's reputation so is there a risk or what's the domain rank is it classes unsafe what sort of category it's in phishing malware etc it basically tells you the health of your domain just in a really clear visual way i don't actually see a lot of seo tools offer this sort of feature or this in-depth feature so it's a nice touch the brand ai section uses ai and i believe the best way to use this is when you're planning outreach so you can talk in the tone of your own you can talk in the same tone of your company you can filter it in done for you templates like this you can add your own brand prompt utilize your competitors brand ai tags and this is where you would add your prompts as well the brand report section is where it will showcase all of the information about your brand in one giant overview if you are on the premium plan you can actually upload your own logo and then generate a PDF report. So if you're managing clients' accounts, you can very easily generate under your, under their own branding and send it directly to them, which is, again, another nice touch. This will literally show all of the other tabs that you can see here in this one single page. Some other cool things about Brandalyzer is the local hunter tool. So if you're trying to do some local research, let's say you wanted to find hotels in a specific geo, well, you'll just enter it in here. And then let's just go ahead and change this to the UK and then do search. And now it's finding all of the local hotels within that radius. Instantly, you get the phone numbers, you get the emails, what times are open, what sort of reviews. So if you are helping local businesses rank or even wanting to help them get their brand reputation back up, or even if, if you're a web developer and you want to redesign their website, this makes it really easy to do so. And if you do free SEO audits and stuff, all you need to do is click analyze domain. And just like that, it gives you all of the information that you then you can quickly send to the specific company. And it's all centralized, really easy to do. I want to jump to the keywords hunter as well. So let's say you want to type something in like dog training. This will now show all the websites and suggested keywords that include dog training in. This is really helpful and the way it's actually formatted is quite intuitive which is quite nice you're not bombarded with an overload of keywords or links this is kind of showing the best ranking websites according to category domain authority page authority etc and this is a really good way of quickly understanding what your competitors are doing how people are trying to rank for things and it's formatted really nicely so that this is how you would generally use the keyword tool this also includes like exporting the information analyzing it with the ai integration so you do have quite a suite of tools that you can start using to help you in your process the expired hunter is quite a nice feature that i think more seo tools should include but they don't and this will let you try and find expired domains just by clicking on one of these buttons here now if you don't really know much about expired domains we like buying expired domains because they've already got authority we don't need to prove the domain to google so they get indexed a lot faster which obviously means you can start generating money faster leads faster and it just makes your life easier you don't need to spend a lot more money on backlinking etc so this is a nice little feature that you should definitely explore when you're inside brandalyzer so this does come to the end of this brandalyzer review if you've got any questions go ahead and drop them below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time